Welcome back to my channel. Dave Law here for Get Some Colour in Your Life. Um, let's just get straight into this video. Uh, the material I'm using is Bockingford 140 pound cold press, Windsor and Newton paints, and I'm using my squirrel mop brushes. I have a few different mop brushes, but I've got the Da Vinci, which I'm using, and uh, um, Isa Bay mop brush. So just going in and popping the pigment on the paper. Um, not really paying much, not really giving much detail, just going in and then softening the bottom of the horizon line. There we go. You can see how the um, pigments sort of coming down the page. I've got the paper at perhaps a 40 degree angle, 35 to 40 degree angle. So it just helps that pigment come down the paper and sort of gives that a nice effect, especially in the sky, if you can see that. Um, the way the pigment's just uh, coming down almost like a stormy sky. It's quite nice. And this this scene, it's actually a photo that I took uh, while in Landudno in Wales. Or it's pronounced Clandudno. Um, we go there quite a lot um, last year through the... Um, sort of lockdowns and things like that where we're still permitted to travel to Wales and so we did have quite a few days we didn't really have a holiday sort of a week anywhere last year as, as I'm sure most of you didn't so it's been quite a challenge really with the epidemic the pandemic should I say um, but we did get quite a lot of days in Landudno, and this scene is actually um, up the arm, which I'd never done before. Been to Landudno at least um, maybe twenty times, but I'd never actually been up the arm. So, if you don't know what the arm is, it's uh, it's a mountain, and it goes sort of above the. Um, above Landudno. Um, it's probably probably a couple of miles walk. I'm not sure you sort of go around. There's a few ways you can get up the arm. But we um, we went up the road sort of way. If you drive up the arm then this is the way you would probably get there. I think there's another way um, by car as well. But we, we walked um, from the coast, sort of side, winding right up. So it's a, a lovely a lovely scene. And this is, as you get to the top of the arm, um, there's this sort of farmhouse. Looks like a farm farmhouse just in the uh, hills. And you've got this road that's on the bottom of the paper. You can see I've done that. And then there's just a few of these little rocks sticking out of the um, grass of the path. So this is a scene, I took the picture and I wanted to paint this for quite some time now. So I just thought it was time to just uh, get get this one done. So it's quite rugged, there's quite um, a rugged landscape and um, lots of details I suppose if you if you look at the the reference of it but I again I just wanted to make this as simple as possible um, for all those who are new to watercolor oh by the way if if you if you're watching this video then thank you very much please give me a like just hit that like button and um, let's let's get more likes on this video it just helps my videos get out there to reach more people and again, if you're not subscribed to my channel, then please do so. I would really appreciate that. Uh, it just helps helps the channel to grow and to, to get out there. So this year I'm going to try and sort of get more 
sort of followers, more views, more sort of artwork, more quality art. Um, so let me know what you want to see. Drop us a comment. Anything you'd like me to have a go at. I do like to. I, I want to try and do more different sort of scenes for you. Um, this is my probably my favourite sort of uh, scene to paint in watercolour. Just a simple landscape. It's quite easy to do. You can see. Um, you just got to be confident with the brush and just get that paint down and not worry so much. And if you are new to watercolour, then this is a perfect channel. There's plenty of videos that I've uploaded now. You can see I've got different playlists. But I do like to show um, a sort of painting in process, more of a tutorial sort of video. And again, let me know what you think. Um, if you if you like these tutorial sort of videos, if you wanna, um, I've I've just recently shortened my videos just to, um, I guess keep keep people watching for a bit longer. But if uh, if you if you are interested in longer videos, then just drop me a comment. I do like receiving comments. It does help me know what you want. So I am I'm I'm here for you so just let me know what you what you think what you want do you paint yourself is watercolor something that you you're uh, used to if so what colors what 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 brands do you use what paints what paper things like that just drop us a comment and I will get back to you um I do like reading comments I've got a few few ideas for my next few videos. Um, just need to get some pictures developed. So what I do is um, just from my smartphone, I just get pictures developed, and and then I've got reference, some sort of reference point, and I don't I don't try and copy it to exact, but it's nice just to have some sort of uh, reference to what you're painting so that's exactly what I've done with this painting um, you can see I'm really simplifying the scene but allowing that sort of realistic effect to come through it does look fairly realistic and I find it interesting, especially with watercolour, the way um, it's quite unpredictable. And I think if you if you're used to watercolour, I think when you understand the the watercolour and the way it acts and the way it it blends together and the way it works with water itself, um, I think when you let go and stop fighting the watercolour and trying to get things exact I think that's when the true beauty of watercolour comes through I think for the first sort of few years that I've been painting in watercolour I've tried to get exact and, I, and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with painting realistically there's many a fantastic artist that do that but I guess for me I, I do enjoy doing a loose looser painting I get much more enjoyment plus on the bonus side it doesn't take as long and so all the time you're learning and here's the thing as I've been doing looser watercolour I've found that I'm going towards the more realistic and tightening up a little bit as well so I think I think for me um, I think you've got to learn how to paint first, how to use watercolour, and that that doesn't have a time limit to it. You could paint for years and years and years. And I know some people get watercolour and they start doing after a couple of months making fantastic pieces of art, which is brilliant. But I think you've got to learn what the medium does, what it offers, and then sort of go loose just go loose and um, enjoy the process make 
confident marks with your paintbrush. I think paper's an important part of the learning process. So you need decent watercolour paper. Usually 100% um, cotton is the best sort of paper. Um, the, the paper that I'm using is Bockingford and it's, it's quite a cheap, very affordable. Uh, you get packs of 50 and that costs around £30. £27, £30 from Jackson's. So that's why I use the uh, Bockingford. I do like using the Ash watercolour paper. I like buying the blocks of that. Um, so if you know that it's quite a lot more expensive. So, but if if you want to try the Ash, then I really do recommend. You, you can start off small, buy a small, smallish pad or small paper. I know that's one thing how I learned how to watercolour. I started with the small um, sketch sketchbooks. And as I learned the medium and learned different techniques, I started getting the bigger sort of, you were working on bigger paper. And so that's that's one thing. Um, each each painting, each each size of painting, uh, you go around tackling just slightly different. So obviously a bigger a bigger paper, you you're doing different techniques. It, it it takes different sort of things to fill. And then if you're using a smaller sort of sketchbook or anything like that, then it's a completely different way of painting. Um, you can't fiddle around too much with with detail. Um, you just got to sort of go with the flow. I know I showed uh, in the last video. Yeah, the last video, my review of um, my review of the Rembrandt paints. I did show you the new sketchbooks that I've just got. One a mixed media and the other one a watercolour and they're Strathmore. Um, they are quite quite small, but I think they're perfect for getting small studies, little practices, little paint swatches, what whichever. Um, just just to keep me sort of going. And then obviously the paper like this, this is fifteen by eleven, which is perfect for a sort of um paintings for people commissions anything like that so i do find this this size quite a nice size it, it gives enough sort of uh, space for different sort of techniques uh wet in wet sort of even dry brush anything like that yeah, it's just good good way to get different sort of techniques practiced Especially in this scene, you got the, the landscape. Uh, this part that I'm doing here is bits of um, sort of heather or some sort of wild sort of grass or some sort of plants that are growing in the grass, some sort of foliage. So it's perfect to sort of practice different techniques, maybe even different brushes. I know I've got quite a lot of quite a few brushes that I've not even used and sometimes you can spend a lot of money on brushes or materials and not really get the use out of them so that's another thing that I'm going to try and do is use what I've got more um, I do have bigger brushes but I tend to stick to what I know but I think that's what we need to do uh, as you develop as an artist you need to try different things so let me know let me know in the comments what what sort of things you like what what brands what brushes anything like that um, you can see I'm just popping in just little minor details and popping in a little bit of color as well just to add some more interest and this is the hill that sort of disappears out of out of shot and it's actually the left hand side just up above there that would be the top of 
uh, the Orm. That's where we stood. We've got plenty of pictures, took some videos, and it was really quite windy. I don't know how high it is, but it's quite quite a bit high, I suppose. So you got all this sort of wind coming from the sea and um, from the open space. You got plenty of sheep. There's another picture actually that I've got on my phone that I really want to paint, and I will do that. It's uh, from the top of the arm. Um, there's a few sheep in the scene, and uh, there's one of these. Um, what do they call um, like a, a mortar home sort of coming it's just on, on the on the scene itself coming towards so it's quite a nice nice scene you got the road sort of winding in and out and then some really nice hills it's sort of in the background so it's a really nice um, reference which I'm sure I will get around to painting uh, very soon so if you're interested in, in seeing that, then please don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Give me a like. I do want to catch quite a lot of likes on this video. Uh, so please do hit that thumbs up. And I will be posting um, another video uh, maybe on later on this week. So don't forget to hit the notification bell. Uh, so that you don't miss any of the new videos that I post. And I think we're coming to the end. This is my favourite part, is taking off the masking tape. It just gives you that satisfaction when you see just the clean lines framing the scene. You can see now. Let's take a closer look. And there we go. What do you think? hope you like it thanks for watching and i will see you again in the next video take care bye bye